Hey YouTube, Samuel Higgins here, right in the middle of the UCB prayer garden. Take a look. It's been a crazy couple of weeks, it's, well, it's been over a month uh, since I last did a video for you guys and yeah, it's been really crazy, we've done so much stuff so I just thought I'd update you on the things that I've been doing here at UCB. Um, hopefully you can hear me over this little water fountain. <laughs> but anyway, um, I've done so much, like after Lebanon I've been really busy with hundreds, well not literally hundreds, but loads of different things that I've been doing. Um, for example, uh, we've had a staff away day, so one day, I think it was like a couple of days after we got back from Lebanon, um, it was the UCB staff away day, so it was like a little conference uh, where the team just updated everyone on what's been going on over the year, so that was great, and also we had a time of worship there which was awesome as well. Um, I've been to loads of leaders days as well, um, which are aimed at uh, leaders of churches, uh, which is hosted at UCB, at the other UCB building in Stoke-on-Trent. And um, yeah, we've been attending them. There's been like two, two or three now, I can't remember. I can't remember I've been to like so many stuff. but. Um, yeah, uh, we went to that, so that was good fun, and we had our own little desk thingy at the back showing all of the One Hope products, which was pretty cool. And um, also, we went to Albania. That was a great trip. That was good fun. We went out to help with the One Hope conference, which was really good. Um, it was a children's ministry conference and uh, it was great to just meet with so many different people and just help out here and there, help set up things and everything. And we had our own little spot in the conference where we just talked about who the Creative Lab was and I made a video that was shown there as well so that was pretty cool as well. Also we filmed testimonies while we were out there of people who attended the conference. Um, they told us about um, how one Hope products had really helped them and helped their church and everything so that was pretty cool as well. We also went to like this children's church where they used 17 stories which is one of the uh, One Hope products which ah oh, that was just like that was the highlight of the trip for me personally just seeing like these young kids um, just really engaging in, um, in just Connecting with God through this uh, One Hope product was just amazing. It was amazing to see. Um, also, when I got back, I had to edit the uh, video filming at that children's church. So, got that edited in just over a week and uh, sent it away just the other day. And so, yeah. <laughs> uh, speaking of videos, like this video as well on my YouTube channel, well, I also run the Creative Lab YouTube channel, which is, I've got it here, on my iPad mini, youtube.com forward slash the Creative Lab Europe. So check out those videos, I do all the vlogs on there as well, so I do my own personal vlogs, and then I direct and edit the Creative Lab vlogs. That, that was a bit of a tongue twister, Creative Lab vlog, but I can't even say it again. Anyway, so yeah, I sort out those videos, so please check them out and comment on them. Tell me what you think, give them a like, all that kind of stuff that I normally say with you guys here. Um, but yeah, also, I've just started up the Creative Lab Instagram. You, you're probably thinking, hold on, shouldn't the social media guy be doing that? Well, I decided to take up the YouTube channel because I do all the videos and vlogs and stuff, and I know what I'm doing. <laughs> personally on the YouTube channels I know like all the tags and the setting up everything so I've decided to take on that and also Instagram I love Instagram and Parker the social media guy doesn't know how to use it so I really want to 
want to do some social media stuff as well. So I've taken up the Instagram, which is Creative. I can't speak. Creative Lab Europe. So check that out and uh, give us a follow and just comment and like all that kind of stuff as well. So that's going to be like behind the scenes pictures. So that's going to be pretty cool. I'm going to try and do at least one one picture a day, depending on what's going on. There might not be much going on, but. When I say that, we've always got stuff going on. We've got so much on the way, uh, which I'll tell you about in a minute, because I've still got a list of things that we did. Like, I went home the other weekend, went back to Peterborough, which many of you remember because you were all there. I hung out with my family, just told them about everything, which, hi, hi, mum and dad. I know you'll be watching this, so hi. <laughs> um, I also just hung out with mates. Cool me. And then we went for some fireworks, so that was good fun. So that was my one and only bonfire night of the year. Unless it could happen still. Could be like some fireworks tonight, which is not tonight for you guys, but tonight for me when I'm recording this. But anyway, moving on. The week just gone was like Wow, it was great fun. The UCB Sheriffon. That was just like, that was my first Sheriffon that I helped out with. And it was long hours. I was working like 13 hours a day. And it was from Tuesday to Thursday. So three days of 13 hour shifts. Um, where I helped out uh, record thank you videos for every person uh, who donated um, some money. Um, but it was over a certain amount you had to donate, but um, I went out and grabbed some presenters and every hour we got the new, new forms of people who were owed a video, so I had to grab the presenter, grab my iPad mini and record them and um, then email them off personally, I had to send off the email, so that was good fun. Also, um, something amazing, I answered telephones. And some of you may know I hate telephone calls. I even refuse to like answer the phone to my friends. Like I won't even pick up the phone from my friends. I hate talking on the phone. So literally the day before Tuesday, I was petrified because I was told I was on the phones from like five to seven in the evening taking donations and I was petrified. But it was good fun. I loved it so much. Um, it was great, like every night. Um, just answering the phone from 5 to 7, um, just taking donations and just hearing people's testimonies and stories of how UCB has really impacted their lives. It was amazing to speak to people and just, it just really, I don't know, it just encourages you. It encouraged me um, and just like made me made me proud to be a part of this and just be able to help out in any way as possible and um, on the final night Thursday I was supposed to finish at 7 but I was like you know what I'm staying till the end so I literally was on the phone for five hours straight from 5 till 10 p.m. right to the end so that was that was great there were so many amazing people I spoke to um, also we had the UCB Gungeon which was great fun you can like see the, the official official video of the Gunjing um, on the UCB YouTube channel, doing some little advertising for them. Um, but yeah, I recorded some stuff as well there. I might throw that up over this video. I don't know. I don't know how much editing I'm going to be doing on this video, so I don't know. It might be like a video right next to me right now. Awkward if there isn't. Knowing me, there won't be. I'm just on now. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, I just want to uh, thank you guys for just um, supporting me. Like, just love the general chats with people and like to keep up, you up to date. And um, missing you guys at home, but really enjoying what I'm doing. And um, I've got so much stuff on the way over the next couple of weeks. Um, like, the team I work with are all Americans. So I get Thanksgiving off, the day off, 
um, and we're going to throw a massive Thanksgiving meal, so that's going to be cool. That's going to be my first ever Thanksgiving, so that will be good fun. Also, um, possibility we're going to a conference in Wales um, and doing some filming or something there, so that will be good fun. Um, uh, not next weekend, but the weekend after that is 17 Stories Training over here at UCB. So um, we're going to be helping out with that, so that's going to be good fun. Um, plus, could be going to a youth group uh, one evening to do some filming, I think, um, and help out with some games. So it will remind me of Loud. It'll be good fun hanging out with some teenagers and just, um, yeah, and there's so much more stuff uh, going on here at UCB and uh, doing stuff for One Hope. So, yeah. I just spoke like a load of waffle, didn't stop, and didn't put any full stops in my sentences because I was just trying to get it all out. So, yeah. If you wanna just, uh, there's a new feature on YouTube down the bottom here. There's a settings thing. You can change the speed of the video. Um, so you might want to slow it down so you can actually understand what I'm saying. That will be pretty good. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching till the end of this video. Please give it a like, favorite, comment, and all that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, just tell me. Just interact with me. Like, I was going to say something. I've forgotten it. So I'm just going to say goodbye. See you in my next video. You can keep up to date on my, I have a um, Creative Lab Updates Facebook page. I'll put the link in the description so I don't know it off by heart. Also, you can just keep up to date with what I'm doing on my, my profile, actual Facebook profile. Um, and Twitter, which is at Higgins Samuel. Uh, YouTube, which you should be watching this on, so you know that. Instagram, which is at Higgins Samuel. Pretty much everything is at Higgins Samuel, so um, if you're looking for something, just type in Higgins Samuel on Google and you'll find most of my profiles and stuff. So I'll be updating things constantly, and I'm going to shut up now, so goodbye.